Bucks, Bucks is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Our family and community is growing so much faster and I mean, just getting overwhelming comments from y'all. Y'all know y'all y'all hold a special place in my heart and i really appreciate you know y'all sticking by your girl you know through all these different ups and downs if we're all relating and knowing we can all relate towards each other through all these crazy situations that we are experiencing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even you know hit the notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video also if you feel like you're comfortable enough i would love to get to know you so you know drop me a couple of lines i want you to get to know i want to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you um if you find a video very informative or just gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times and need validation or confirmation towards their life path, you know, and are trying to know if they're going in the right direction, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful meditation I'm listening to is called Attract Love, Romance and Harmony, Venus Spin Frequency, Theta, Binarial Beats, my favorite ones. I love me some binarial beats. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Oka's Getting Peace of Mind While Healing from a Dark from a dark past i mean y'all oh jesus i mean i just had to pray and when i was praying i felt a whole bunch of emotions coming up i don't know if it was just from the the meditation music that i'm using but you know it's just like I, i've been going through some stuff like as always with every like everybody else is you know you go through your ups and downs you're trying to heal from all the past trauma that you're dealing with you know my dad's anniversary anniversary just recently passed so there's still some wounds there you know i really just want to heal and let go of you know but it's like if you have never been through a situation like that and you're still you know it's still shock to you you know it it takes a lot for you to have to you know get through this you know universe tell me you know rosalyn you just need to let it go and heal there's a bigger picture you know if you just give it a chance and I, that's what i'm really trying to do and it's just like trying to get past all that it's been a lot you know and it's just like you need that peace of mind you need to be able to be able to heal the wounds that has been placed upon you by family members or you know uh significant others or even best friends or you know whoever has really been in your life it really flipped your life upside down you know um it, it was a lot to deal with and that's why i'm just like i feel so blessed that i can be able to do videos and being able to have people relate to the situations i'm in you know being able to actually use my gift for the greater good you know i was always you know punished <laughs> for being like i was and now it just feels good to feel free about it you know not to have to worry about people looking at me like i'm crazy because there are some people who are not going to relate to me i was like okay if you're not awoke you ain't gonna understand what i'm talking about <laughs> so don't even try you know that's just like trying to put x's and o's to an orange and a dime i don't know you know something that's not gonna really make sense to you but it, it's just a blessing to be able to make videos and let you know you're not alone you know Yes, you have been through some really traumatizing things, but for you to still be here and be able to tell your life story on the things that you have been through, just to help somebody get out of their, you know, sorrow of a prison, you know, hurt and nightmares of a prison that they can't find a key to get out of that cell. You know, that, that has to be the worst kind of feeling in the world, to make you feel like you're stuck you cannot get out of that situation you just want to heal you just want to have a peace of mind you need that happiness you need to put that big smile on your face that you truly deserve because it's like with me i'm i'm just really trying to find out you know when was my last time i was really happy and it's just like 
I had to like dag. <laughs> and you know, anything I had that was in my life, it was very shortly lived, you know, for it to be happy. And I'm just like, you know what, I deserve that. I really do. And it's just like the situations that, you know, I can say my channel gives me happiness. But it's like outside of that, being able to live every day, that's you know, that I don't never take that for granted because there's so many people that, you know, are you know fighting for their lives because you know they got illnesses and stuff like that so i don't take those situations for granted but being able to live with all that that you have dealt with and i said you know what i'm a strong person but there's a lot of things i'm still healing through i, I won't lie to y'all about that you know i tell y'all like i tell myself you have to let go if you need that peace of mind you really need that peace of mind for yourself you know um if you are still here to be able to fight to live another day, God is not finished with you yet. Universe is not finished with you yet. You have a duty towards yourself and towards others to be able to be able to share your story, to help other people see that, you know what, there's things that can be placed, and I'm trying so hard not to cry right now, that has been placed into your life that has really messed you up the long way. I mean, because it's just like, there's times y'all have sent me comments on the things that y'all have went through and i mean i bought my eyes out because people will tell me stuff and i can get the visual picture and there's some of the things i just really wish i can just gouge out of my brain because you can't unsee that after you hear it and it just breaks my heart to hear the things that y'all went through because i know what that feels like you know i might not know what it felt like to be in that certain situation but i know what it feels like to be abused and by people that are supposed to protect you you know, people that were posed to, you know, love you the way you deserve to be loved, and, you know, and that can mess somebody up the long way, because if that's all you know, you know, you t tend to wear, you know, take that with you. And that's why I said I had to break that cycle, because I don't want my children to ever feel that way, because I did my children that way, because that's all I knew, you know, and I tried to love them the best way I know how. But if you have never felt that love, you know, the love I actually had was ripped away from me. My dad was the only one who loved me like that. And I, you know, I had to feel that spiritually, metaphysically. I never got to feel it physically, you know, because there was always abuse around me. So that's the most saddest thing, you know, you can ever deal with. You know, there's times I think about, you know, the love that my dad had for me. And that that gets me emotional because that was a, a big thing for a child to only be like a couple of hours old and knowing you the connection between you and a parent can impact like that for it to be ripped away is the worst kind of feeling you could ever have and it's just like being able to make these videos to let people know you're not alone you're not going crazy you will heal from whatever trauma that you have had to experience in your life because they needed you to go through this war of whatever you had to deal with just for you to be you know you, you got your strength from that pain you got your strength from that trauma you know for you to be able to tell somebody this is what I went through and you can still have a smile on your face still try to make jokes you know see you want to be happy that takes strength you know I don't care what anybody tries to tell you I'm gonna tell you from a positive point of view that takes a lot of strength for you to do don't ever feel like you're weak because of the situation that you've been put through if you still try to find positivity out of a traumatic situation that takes a lot of strength and that lets you know right there that's your first step of letting you know you're gonna heal it might take a minute but you need to be able to get that peace of mind after dealing with the traumatic past like that you should be able to heal and try to find a joy out of you know what I would never you know you never want to put that on somebody else and you know it tears my heart up when I know I expose that to my kids you know it I mean there's times I've cried you know and I say you know I did not want them to ever feel what I felt growing up you know they didn't go through that they got but you know they got a touch of it because it made me narcissistic because of the things that I thought I was the one who caused this it was my fault because my family treated me like this you know and there's times where um, you know there's a lot of times where I felt like it was my fault and then when I finally was an adult to see you know what this is not your fault these these people had issues before you came along you know and it's just like it took you to be able to break that off the tip, tip of the iceberg but for you to be able to go through something like that and you know you refuse to be like I, I refuse that I'm gonna be a bitter 
you know, person or I want to be sad my whole life. You know, you can basically say, you know what, I'm going to heal. It might take me a minute, but I'm going to heal. Even if it takes day by day basis, don't ever rush yourself. And there's times I, you know, I'm like, oh, I just want to hurry up and let this go. I just want to hurry up and let this go. But it, it takes time. It really does. It really takes time. And that's why I feel like I'm blessed because there's times I've cried, you know, and asked God, why do I have to constantly keep going through this? Why does it have to be a main factor in my life of what these people did to me? You know, um, I don't wish anything bad on them. I just want them to heal in ways I just don't need them in my life anymore. I don't, I don't want them to be in my life. And being able to say, I just want a peace of mind, being able to get closure, you know get the answers I need to you know about wanting to know my biological family you know regardless of what they try to keep me from I want to know my biological family so just being able to go through all these situations and say you know what I will <laughs> I will release this and I will have me a happy ever after I will have a come up regardless on what people try to keep me away from you know my happiness you know I've had a lot of people try to do that towards me and I'm just like you know what regardless of what you did towards me you know I say I'm you're gonna stay the hell away from me but I'm gonna still wish you happiness because that shows a lot about your character and less about mine you know I don't wish anything on anybody because I deserve I think anybody deserves to know their family there's people that has en envied me to the point where they were like, you know what, I wish I hope you don't never get this and I had recently it's just like family they were like family to me I had to get them out of my life because I feel that anger you, you held, hold towards me just because of who I'm related to. And that's a hurtful feeling. So it's just like if I know I want to be focused on what I'm going to do to better myself, to be able to have my children know the rest of their family, me to be able to know the rest of mine, regardless of what anybody thinks, you know, I have to cut all these people out of my life. And I mean, that really hurt me because these are people that I grew up with. You know, I've known be tight knit but it's just like people have shown their their horns towards me because of certain situations and I'm like you know what this is not my fault you know so it's just like but since you you're narrow-minded and all you can think about is everything else is not really important you know I need to get you out of my life so it's just like when you're going through a traumatic situation you know there's people trying to stay in your way because they see that glow inside of you they see that light inside of you that they know they see that strength which intimidates them makes you more inferior to them or they see you as being inferior cut them out of your life <laughs> you need to have your happiness regardless on what people feel about what you need you only know what's best for you if it's going to make a positive impact towards you and the ones you love they are important to be in your life do that regardless of what people think because you know there's a lot of people that you know wake up every morning and hate to look at the reflection in the morning so if they hate to do that you can't expect them <laughs> to be able to love you if they can't even love themselves so you know you have to let them folks go hey let them go it might be a painful situation to go through but you need to do what's best for you so i hope you were able to resonate y'all i had like i said i had to take me a a little mini break you know I was going through some stuff you know dealing with different emotions and you know I'm, I'm just trying to be on that right vibe when I come at y'all so you know just I hope y'all have a blessed weekend I'll go ahead and do a couple more videos and I'll see you on the next one and much love peace oh I'm gonna give a post not notification shout out to Brittany Wick and David Delp much love to you. Welcome to the family. And I hope y'all, you know, can watch more videos and relate to other ones as well. So like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line so I can give you a shout out on my next video. Um, share. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on my next one. Peace and be wild.